Welcome to Middle East Update with our Bible Voice Broadcasting Correspondent, Cheryl Hancock. Hello, this is Cheryl, Middle East Correspondent in Jerusalem, and today I'm speaking with David Sokal, who is from the UK, and he has been working with Christian Friends of Israel. Hello, David. How long have you been working with them? When we started out in 86, but I became an area rep for them voluntary in 1995, and then in 2001 I became uh, full-time, and uh, it's just gone from there. Christian Friends of Israel is actually an organization that helps the Jewish people in many different areas, victims of terror, the soldiers, the Holocaust survivors. They do many things, and David is from the headquarters in UK. Yeah, but the complete two separate charities. Over here, CFI Jerusalem come under Israeli charitable status. So basically, they can do different works to what we can do. In the UK, we come under the British charitable status. So there's certain areas, such as the soldiers, that we can't work with. However, from the UK, we do help other areas, such as Shevet Achim, where we're helping Palestinians, uh, Arabs, and a, a variety of other areas of work too. But one of the reasons I'm out here in Israel is to get more understanding. Uh, we've been down visiting people on the Gaza border who have had uh, lots of terrorist attacks from Hamas. Uh, so we've been visiting terrorist victims. We'll be going out to, to visit Holocaust survivors and the Ethiopian absorption centers. We've been up on the Lebanese border. And there's an awful lot of uh, different areas uh, of work that uh, we cover. Yeah, it sounds like it. And you've been doing this for many years. So how often do you get to Israel? Not as often as I used to. I used to come out quite regular, but um, my work changed in the UK. It changed it, with a different angle. Uh, I'm now the uh, UK liaison officer, uh, church liaison officer. And basically what that means is uh, we have guys throughout the UK, not a lot, but uh, around about 22 what we would call area reps. And basically they have a district, a county to look after, a region to look after, and it's their responsibility responsibility to try and get into the church and to enable the church to understand a, its Hebraic roots, uh, to understand why Israel, what the importance of Israel, and then to talk about the projects. And uh, I'm out here with a couple of reps uh, showing them exactly what we do out in Israel so that they can then go back and tell their folks back home of, of what actually goes on. Uh, but it's also good for me as well, simply because since 2001, um, I've been writing an international news report on a weekly basis called uh, Watching Over Zion. And again, that's just out. It's basically out to equip uh, the Christians throughout the world so that they have the ability to know how to pray for the situations out here in the land. And um, I cover an awful lot of uh, the Middle East. I've been covering the uh, what they call the Arab Springs, which is actually just another word for for the Islamic awakening, which is, seems to be happening throughout the Middle East. Uh, but I try to keep it uh, based on, on what's happening in Israel, but you can't help but bring in, obviously, what's happening in Syria, yeah. you know. Actually, what's happening in Syria is actually affecting Israel, and the whole Middle East affects Israel. And I do receive your updates. They're very, very informative, a lot of detail. It's put very plainly of what's really going on in the Middle East with Israel. And of course, Israel we're talking about is the focal point. Yeah. And in order to teach about Israel, you have to teach about what's going on in the Middle East because it all affects Israel, yeah. which affects us as Christians outside of Israel. That's right. Americans, Absolutely. people Absolutely. in the UK. Yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine, Moshe, lives in the uh, old city. He, he was d describing Israel as sort of like the eye of the hurricane. In actual fact, if you come to Israel, if you've never been to Israel, it's, it's a very peaceful country at the moment. And, uh, you know, you have Jews and Arabs living together and, you know, you don't see the problems that you see in the rest of the Middle East. And don't forget, of course, Israel is only 0.1% of the Middle East. So that means that leaves 99.9%, .9%, which is Muslim Arab controlled. Just look at what's happening in the Middle East, the way... It, you know, that seems to be the outer of the eye of the hurricane. It's a whirlwind. It's been, you know, uh, they're, they're fighting against each other, killing each other. And, you know, I think that this is all almost happening as we edge ever closer to the Jewish Messiah and what would the, the, the Christians would call Yeshua, Jesus, his return. And uh, things are building up. Yeah, we can see that we're living in the last days. And so it seems. And things are coming together and living in Israel is almost like, like sitting on the front row <laughs> of what's going on watching and it's exciting. It's a little scary but it's exciting because we know that these things 
things have to happen according to biblical prophecy. These things have to happen in order for the Messiah absolutely, to return. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, as you get involved in this, and, and, and if you just study the history of Israel, you know, we are living in days today that uh, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, they would have longed to have seen. These uh, men of God proclaimed what God told them to proclaim, you know, thousands of years ago. We are living in those days today. I think something big happened in 1967 when Jerusalem was uh, was reunited. Uh, you know, I mean, Yeshua Jesus himself said, you know, this place will be handed over and over to the Gentiles until, uh, well, you know, Jerusalem's uh, now back in the hands of the Jewish people. You know, but we have to watch. We have to uh, keep our eyes firmly in the Word of God, uh, but maybe keep our <laughs> our eye also in the newspapers and what's happening in the Middle East and. Uh, you know, try to, 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 to use wisdom and discernment in how we, we pray about what's happening uh, these days. Yeah, in the Bible it talks about the last days. In the New Testament, that was 2,000 years ago. That's so right. if those were the last days, yeah. then we're definitely yeah. closer. Yeah. We don't know that time, but we know the seasons, and, and we can see things building, and yeah. Israel is preparing for a war. Absolutely. And we don't Absolutely. know when that's going to be, but we know that it's going to be coming. The people yeah. know that, and it's amazing that people are coming from all over the world, making and Aliyah immigrating to Israel still Jewish people yeah. just like the Bible says yeah, I'm going absolutely. to bring them from the north south east and west is what God says and yeah. they're we're watching biblical prophecy in right. front of our own eyes and it's exciting so your writings what you write about and I well, love what you do I, it, it's just something that I felt the Lord lay on my heart you know 2001 I have that a privileged position to be able to be allowed to do it and the reports were supposed to be just for the UK but the internet has made the world a, a global village so yeah they go throughout the world what it isn't it's not something where we're so pro-Israel or pro-Zionist that people ever read it and started to get a hatred towards the, the Muslims, the Arabs. Then I've failed, basically. Without love, we're nothing more than a clanging bell. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the information is there, yes, to stir people up, to, to be able to intercede. But we have to be balanced. Just as today, we went to a village. It was a Muslim village. And we have a, a brother in the Lord there. He was yeah. a Muslim, became a believer. Yeah. And so we go to these people and we take them food. We take them clothing, what their needs are. We take them Bibles. And they do want to hear about the love of God. And yeah. if we go with a loving heart to all people, as Jesus would, yeah. loving them beyond every border, then we are really reaching as the Lord would reach out to people. Absolutely. And your reports do that. You're teaching. Can you give us a website? Sure. The website, the UK website, is uh, www.cfi.org.uk. But uh, you can also email me. It's uh, David at cfi.org.uk. You can also just Google me, I suppose, or, um, or davidcircle.com, and you'll, you'll pick up my blogs that way. Okay, well, I'm sure that people will do that because, you know, we need to be informed in these last days. We really need to be informed what's going on and the church. And the Lord tells us to look for the signs of the times, and then we'll know what's what's going on. But if we're not looking, we won't know what time Amen. it is. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for all you do for Israel, because I know the projects go deeper than what we had time to talk about. You do a lot for the people, practically. Everything's on the website. You can go to the UK website. You can go to the Jerusalem website. We also do a thing called Focal Point. Every month, we have a half-hour TV show which can be seen on the God channels, the, but also on the internet. Well worth watching. Excellent. Great. Okay. Well, that's good news. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been listening to Middle East Update with our Bible Voice Broadcasting Correspondent, Cheryl Hancock. To hear this and previous updates online, go to www.biblevoice.com.